So what's going on guys? Alright, I'm back in the garage. It is a uh, cool crisp, I don't know, probably like freaking 15 degrees outside or something and there's a lot of snow. Uh, let me just show you, this is kind of funny actually because uh, when I opened the door this morning and everything like that, I couldn't believe how much snow drifted into my house. We only got a few inches, but like, come on now, look at that. There's like three feet of snow <laughs> drifted up to the doors and everything. I'm over winter. I'll tell you, I'm just over winter. But either way, we have cars to work on. We got projects to get done. We we just got we got stuff to do. So we're gonna um get to work. As I left off last video, uh, I pretty much I got the battery tray out. I got this piece out, cleaned it up a bit. It's gonna need a little bit more cleaning up and some flap wheel, grind it all smooth. Gonna need to make a new plate there. Gonna need to make a new plate over here as well, so I'm gonna have to get that out. Started cleaning up the rust over here. As you can see, it's looking pretty crappy, but we'll have to get that addressed. Started grinding out the areas where I'm gonna stitch weld. Uh, we still gotta cut the fenders out. We just got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I, I really don't think it's gonna be too entertaining if I sit there and just like record me doing this stuff because I'm still trying to figure out how to do everything because I'm not very good with the spot weld driller. I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, it works. It's just, it's really kind of a painful process. And the rest is just me grinding out seam sealer and rust and crap like that. So I'm just going to update you guys as I go along like I've been doing. Uh, if anything exciting comes along, I'd be glad to share it with you guys. But we're just going to continue working on the car because, you know, 2019's around, or er, well, er, er, let's rewind and say 2018 is around the corner. As in the drift season of 2018, because it is actually already 2018. Either way, I can't even make proper sentences, so I'm just going to go back to what I'm good at, and that's grabbing some tools and doing some work. So, I'll catch you guys back in a little bit. Alright guys, so I've been just working away, and I got this piece out uh, that needed to come out. Uh, I've been wire brushing up the seams and everything like that, so that they can get stitch welded. Going to have to cut out some repair here. Going to have to do some repairing here. Um, you know, obviously we got the rust hole right there. We got the rust holes right there and everything like that. But yeah, it's just a uh, pretty much a tedious process. We're just grinding, we're cutting, we're drilling, we're doing all the things that need to happen to get all this thing prepped and get it so I can start repairing it. It's a long process. I know it's kind of boring and I can't really show you much because honestly, you've probably seen it all a hundred million times and everything because really it's just operating a drill with a wire brush and a drill bit. So yeah, I'm just going to keep working. I'll update you guys as I go. And yeah, just stay tuned. All right, guys, so yeah, this is what I found in the driver's side. So this is just a nightmare. But uh, but yeah, I mean, hey, what can I say other than we're just gonna, we're gonna get it done, we're gonna fix it one way or another. We're gonna get this car at least, uh, you know, decently strong again so we can continue driving it. I mean, yeah, it's got a lot of holes, but we can always weld metal in, so hey, it is what it is. It's a learner's car, it's a practice car. We just, you know, need to keep, keep it structurally together. So we're gonna basically, uh, I'm gonna get some metal tomorrow, and I'm gonna just start cutting shit out, and I'm just gonna start welding shit in, and uh, you know, send it. We're gonna get this thing back on, on track somehow. Um, you know, this is kind of disheartening. Really makes me wanna just find another shell. I just, I you know, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. It just, it is what it is. Um, I mean, this has got a cage. It's gonna allow me to tandem. Uh, it, it's gonna at least let me progress myself as a driver, regardless. It's never gonna be pretty. It's never gonna make it really anywhere other than just a practice car. My goal is just to patch these holes up, get this thing back on track, get it back together, make it through a year or so, uh, smash some doors with permission. Uh, but pr pretty much just try to progress myself as a driver. I, I need to find another shell. I need to find a clean shell and just reshell the car. It is what it is. Uh, you know, the, uh, this car is just, it's, it's, it's honestly, it's past its life expectancy, but it's all I got. And you know, I'm not giving up drifting, so I'm gonna put in the work, I'm gonna put in the hours, I'm gonna just keep grinding, cutting, welded. I, I'm gonna figure it out, I'm gonna get it done one way or another. Is it gonna be perfect? No. Is it gonna be safe? Yes. Is it gonna hold together? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna learn a lot from it. I mean, I, you know, I've done my fair share of welding, but I'm not a welder by trade. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm gonna definitely get a lot of practice, a lot more practice, because yeah, I did the frame on this. Um, I've done plenty of exhaust and other little dumb shit, 
but uh, this is gonna be a lot of metal welding in to fix these holes and the more I, I start wire brushing the more I'm finding the more and it's just oh uh. but looking at it I think I've uncovered the biggest uh, you know big problems in the engine bay so honestly send it a couple hours cutting out some metal welding in some metal and you know what this engine bay will be done you know I mean like it'll be back in one piece at least and then the rest of it will be just cutting out the tubs wire brushing and sanding the hell out of it laying some paint and then we can just start putting the engine in and at least getting somewhere so I'm gonna stay focused I'm gonna stay motivated I'm gonna keep thinking positive because you know that's what it takes sometimes is you just got you got to stay focused and stay positive because you get into this negative rut like right now I just want to push the car outside and burn it honestly like it's just it's really bad but I want I want to drip more and unless one of you got one of you guys is going to give me a new car that's caged that I can put my SR20 and all this crap in you know it's it's we're just we're going to have to do it we got to do it there's nothing else we can do as as we got to fix it we got to fix it so yeah so oh god it is just horrible but like I said, I got this cleaned up. I got that over there cleaned up. I got the seams cleaned up on the strut towers. Uh, yeah, so this side is, is honestly, I thought this was going to be the bad side, but really it's just going to be uh, fixing this, which I'm, I look forward to this. It's going to be easy. Just cut and weld it in. You know, I kind of cleaned up a little bit on the frame and poked at it, got a big hole so we can see. Um, I'm not even worried about that, honestly. I've already done a frame, so, you know, I'm not even sweating that. I'm just going to patch that up with some metal. No big deal. So, yeah, I mean, cut, weld, repeat. That's what it's going to be. So, there's not, you know, this is going to, this is quite boring probably. I mean, I, I hope you guys are just watching just to see the progress and to figure out what I'm doing because really these are just going to be vlogs, man. I, I'm not really able to sit here. I'm not going to pain you guys out with showing you guys me cutting and welding. I mean, I'll update you and maybe show you a little bit, but I'm not going to make you watch hours and hours of cutting and welding because that's what it's going to be. Um, and I, can, I don't even really want to hassle with time lapse to be honest with you. So I'm just going to keep doing these vocal updates, letting you guys know what I'm coming across and, and, and showing you what I'm working with. So um, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to keep pushing. All right, guys. All right, guys. So. <laughs> I'm extremely dirty, I know that. Anyways, I've been thinking, and I think uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the car outside, I'm gonna put a, so, uh, soak it full of gasoline, I'm gonna light it on fire, and then I'm just gonna go out to Main Street and make a bunch of money, and then buy me a new car. So if you're interested, comment down below. Just playing. But, in all seriousness, this is what I think I'm gonna do. So I'm done for the night. So I'm going to continue tomorrow or whatever, but this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to come in here, I'm going to take the tension rod brackets out, the sway bar out. Then I'm going to go ahead and drop the front subframe and figure out, um, you know, probably throw some jack stands behind it or whatever, or being on the frame rails or whatever. But either way, get the subframe out. So I have all the room to work in the wheel wells and um, inside the engine bay and everything like that. I didn't quite want to do it yet because I could still put the wheels on. And roll it around and everything like that which is kind of what I wanted to do and be able to do but honestly I'm tired of trying to work around the steering this is the coilovers and everything like that I think it's gonna be in my best interest to go ahead and drop all that stuff and get it out the way so that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow and everything like that so I will see you guys in the morning